the move toolpath start points function has been greatly improved for PowerMill 10. To show you these improvements, I'm going to be using this interleaved constant Z toolpath uh, as an example. To access the move start points function, we can either right click on the toolpath and say edit move start points, or we can simply click on the icon on the toolpath toolbar. The first thing you'll notice when uh, we go into the move start points command is the new toolbar appears. This toolbar contains all the functionality we require to move the start points, entry points on a toolpath. You should also notice that the toolpath is displayed in two colours, a light blue colour for the closed toolpath segments and a dark blue colour for the open toolpath segments. So the user can clearly see which segments he is able to modify, those segments being the closed toolpath segments. Also you'll notice that the entry point for each toolpath segment is clearly indicated with a pink sphere. During the move start points we have access to the leads and links icon on the toolpath toolbar so we can switch those on or off and make the view simpler and easier to work with, make the toolpath easier to work with. And also we can rotate and orientate the view as we see wish during the move start points command. To actually move the start points then as in previous versions of PowerMill we simply sketch, if I zoom into an area here, we simply sketch a line through the toolpath segments and the start points will be moved to the intersection of that line and the toolpath. So we can move around the toolpath sketching lines as we go along. There's no need in the new version to press enter on the keyboard to update the start points. As soon as I click the second point of the line the toolpath is automatically updated. If at any point I make a mistake moving the start points then on the new toolbar we have an undo facility to go back to the previous position. This undo facility is a multiple undo and if I keep on pressing that it takes me all the way back to the very beginning. And again, likewise, I can redo the toolpath all the way back to the last move start points command. A new function on the move start points toolbar is the ability to move the start point of an individual segment. So if I click on this icon and zoom in to an area, then you'll notice when the cursor moves over a segment, it changes yellow indicating this is a currently selected segment and if I can click anywhere on that segment and you'll notice the pink sphere moving to the position where my cursor is indicating the new start point. Alternatively I can simply hold down the left mouse key over the start point and drag it around the section, the toolpath segment. When we have finished moving the start points, then we simply click on the tick to accept the changes and the toolpath is updated. The original toolpath is updated and there is no copy created as in previous versions.